This is John for the LFL 360 at johnsbeat.com. I'm in Darien with Ghost, Assistant Ghost. Ryan, how are you? Doing well. How are you? Good. How's the team looking? I think we're we're just about just about where we want to be right now. Still got a lot more prep in a short amount of time before the first game, but I think we'll I think we're going to come out ahead. Now, how did you get hooked up in this team? Um, actually, was uh, friends with Hack. Uh, had some had some room on the staff. Asked me if I wanted to be a part of all this, and I jumped at the chance. How do you not? Right. I mean, get to watch an awesome sport, a lot of great athletes, great times. What's your sports background? Um, I played college uh, football over at St. Xavier University. Um, after that, not many, not many teams in the NFL want a 5'11 defensive tackle, so okay. <laughs> that's where it ended right there. Were you part of... Uh... Did you play football with the other guys or the other coaches? I did not. The only one on the staff that I knew prior to becoming part of the staff was Hack. Okay. Now, we keep hearing from every undefeated season, marching all the way to the title. You know, see, here's the thing. When you hear it from everybody, that usually stands for solid reasoning. That's what I'm saying. The spoken majority. But see, everyone keeps saying to me, oh, yeah, of course the team is saying it. Of course the coaches are saying it. So, all right, why, why undefeated then? And why not? We have the greatest collection of talent in the league, far and away. Quarterback, running back down the line to our offensive line. Our defense, we got two of the top defensive ends in the league, if not the top two. Great secondary, excellent coaching. Well, top well, notch coaching. Top notch coaching. I mean, there's... We're not sure about Hack, but the, the assistants are. Right, well, we, we try to keep him on the on the narrow path, make sure he's focused on where he needs to Somebody's be. Somebody's got to. Right, yeah, right. Yeah. He gets a little sidetracked sometimes. Now, your first uh, season opener, April 5th, in, April Green, 5th. in uh, Milwaukee. Milwaukee, over at the U.S. Cellular, US cellular Field, or no, U.S. Cellular over Arena. Yeah. yeah. Any predictions? Obviously, you're going to win. We're going to win. Uh, we don't want to Are we... <laughs> I mean, we could go with the old uh, super fans prediction of uh, the Bliss 942 <laughs> Green Bay negative seven. Well, we'll we'll keep it we'll keep it on the level 35 to 10. Are you giving them 10? We're giving Are them 10. Mercy or what's that? The mercy points or what? Uh, the refs screw a lot of things up. Never, always, <laughs> always blame it on the refs. The refs man. screw a lot of things up. They they could easily give a call or two that's going to go against us and put us in a bad spot. All right, well, you know, before we wrap this up, practice is going to be starting. I've got to ask you, it's NCAA tournament time. How's it is. Your, how's your bracket? My bracket was busted after the first game. No hope? <laughs> no hope. All right, well. The Duke, the, the Duke game definitely didn't help anything either. Forget the brackets. We're here for the bliss. Opener April 5th in Milwaukee. Yep. Anybody in Chicago who wants to hop on the bus, we got a fan bus heading up to the game. 45 bucks. You get a ticket to the game, ride to the game, ride home, and, uh, Beverages on the, on the bus. And you see a great game. And you see a great game, what, great what people. You, you, you really can't beat it. And, and he's going to sign autographs and polls for photos and all sorts of stuff. Aren't you buying beers for people, too? Well, it's included. You don't need to buy beer. It comes with it. There you go. Come out to the game, check the bliss out, they're the best thing going. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Appreciate it, man.